Welcome to Animation for All. My name is Nathan Adams. I am your host. This program is presented to you by Shenbol Studio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Animation for All. In this episode, we're going to be making a pumpkin. This is the first part of a four-part series. So in today's episode, we're going to be modeling the pumpkin. And to begin, we're in Blender 2.63, and we're going to get rid of this default cube. So, let's make sure we're in the right program here. All right, there we go. All right, so let's press X to delete. And then what we'll do is we'll get our space bar and we'll say add UV sphere. All right, and the first thing I want to do is I want to change the number of segments and the number of rings. And on this one, I'm going to change it to a number of 60. And then I'm going to have half as many rings as segments. So there we go. Now, let's zoom in a little closer. And let's change the shading to smooth. There we go. Alright, now, we have our object. And right now, it's, a, its name is a sphere. And I want to change that to something more meaningful. So we'll go to our object right here and we'll change that from sphere to say pumpkin alright the next thing we want to do is make sure that the mesh name matches the object name because right now it says sphere so let's drag that into here that's one way of taking care of that so, nice quick way of renaming a mesh data to match an object name. So, the next thing we do is we tab into our edit mode. So, hit tab. And there we go. We have all the vertices selected, and it's in vertex selection mode. So, let's go ahead and deselect all of them by hitting A. Then we're going to select every fourth, every fourth edge loop here. It's going this direction. So we'll shift alt right click each of these edge loops. there we go. All of those edge loops have now been selected. And now, let's go ahead and let's just scale all those so that we have some ridges in our pumpkin. And to do that, we'll press S. Although you notice, as we go in, yeah, we're getting those ridges, but you know, to make it a little bit smoother, I'm actually going to turn on the proportional editing. To turn on proportional editing, we hit O. We'll just keep it so that it's at smooth fall off. And then let's press S again. Okay. And I just want it so that it's at a proportion that we can deal with or it's not too much. So we're still just scaling those ridges and also taking a little bit with it. Alright. Yeah. Let's go with about that. Let's tab out to see what it looks like in object mode. Okay, not, like, uh, not bad. 
So now we have that uh, object there and we want to add a stem. Tab back in alright and then to add the stem what we'll do is we'll actually take this inner ring right here all those points let's see how's that looking in relation to the rest of the pumpkin actually I think I'm also going to add this this edge loop as well and then we'll extrude by pressing E and let's extrude it downward a little bit okay so now we have this nice little dip and let's scale that down a little bit I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn proportional edit editing off there we go alright there we go and now I'm going to copy this so that we have something that gives a little bit more definition with an edge so I'm going to get shift D to duplicate and let's get Z just so it stays on the Z axis I just scale it a tiny bit and press shift just for a really small change alright there we go and then let's extrude this, uh, these vertices, these faces up by pressing E once again and then there we go scale this outward by pressing S okay maybe it's not quite that big let's see there we go and then that's where we start taking it and extruding it a bunch here so let's extrude once again and let's scale that down and then we're going to so I'm going to take it into the front view by hitting the keypad 1 and I want an orthographic so I'll hit 5 to take it from perspective to orthographic alright and then we're going to rotate that a little bit and then we are going to once again extrude upward scale that down a little bit rotate it a little bit keep going until, until it looks good Just a couple more here. And then should be good with that. All right. I think that's good. And now we have our object but it looks pretty plain doesn't it so this time we're actually going to tab out we're going to change this around a bit and so I'm going to give it a little bit of an asymmetrical property so it's not totally kind of like a Christmas ornament with a little stem coming off of it so we're going to change from object mode to sculpt mode and in my sculpt mode, I'm actually going to change from the sculpt draw, I change from this one to inflate. I want to change the size up a little bit. So I'll change the radius, something like that. Actually, a little bit smaller. There we go. And now, and start drawing on right onto here. I'm actually going to take the strength up a little bit too. 
Now we can start to see that we're going to be inflating those areas. In fact, I'm going to start going around my object. Just so it kind of inflates it down toward the base. Alright. Alright, there we go. That's looking quite a bit better now. And then, I'm going to actually make this a little bit longer. So, everyone has their visual preferences here. So, I'm going to change this now to grab. Or you can press G. I just want to show the whole. Uh, I just want to show this on on screen what I was doing. So now I'll take a look at that. I'm actually going to press F to increase the size. I'm actually going to press I to inflate it a little bit more. Oops. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take the size down a little bit. Okay, and there we go. So, I feel pretty good about this. I'll change back to object mode. And then I think we'll be good with this section. So in the next, uh, in the next segment here, we're going to put the materials onto our object. Now we're going to add our materials to our pumpkin. So, right now we have it in our mesh data and so we're going to go right to this little object, this little icon that looks like a sphere. And we do have a material here that's not in use. Let's use that. And also, I'm going to change from Blender Render to Cycles Render. There we go. That way, this one, I can actually real-time watch the rendering go on. And I'll use nodes. For right now, we're just going to stick with the diffuse. Later on, we'll change that around, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to go with diffuse. And I'm going to keep that name of pumpkin for this material. And I'll paste that name by dragging from here in our outliner into our materials. So, now we have a pumpkin that we can start playing with the materials on. So I'm going to take the blue way down, give this an orange color, I'm also going to add another color here. So let's change that from material to stem. Okay. And this one will be a much more of a greenish, bluish, uh, a green color anyway. to it just so it has kind of a yellowish quality. Okay. So let's tab back into our, our edit mode and I'm going to get everything that is not stem related. Just press L T 
to get all the linked stuff, you'll notice it didn't select the stem because that is actually a separate object that's still within, so it's kind of like a little island. Anyway, so let's assign all these vertices to this pumpkin material, and then we'll deselect all by pressing A, and then L to select all the stem items, assign those, and then tab out. We're going to go from our solid view, which is what we currently have, to our material view. And there we go. We have this nice looking pumpkin object. Now if we look at our rendered, let's look at that, see what it looks like. Not bad. Not too bad. Um, so, okay. So let's go back out. I'm actually going to change our world view. So we'll use nodes on the world. And then I'm going to change my color right now so that it's all white. Later on it'll be darker, but uh, just for right now I just want to see this just as a white background. Don't have that drab gray background going on. That is definitely bright. Wow. So, that's actually looking rather plain. So I'm going to go back into my material. And... I'm going to actually add a little bit of gloss to this material. So I'm going to go into another screen. I'm going to get my control, left arrow, material, there we go. And over here we have our nodes editor. And since we're in cycles and we said use nodes on our materials, this is what I intend to do. And right now we just have the stem one. I want to select the pumpkin material and play around with that. So I like this color for the diffuse, but you know what? I want to add a little bit of gloss to this. So we'll do Shift A. And then for our shader, we're actually going to do a mix shader. And shift A once again and we'll do a glossy shader. Now we're going to add these these points here from what it says BSDF to shader and add that shader to surface. Now I'm going to change it, see what it does at 0.25 for the factor of mixing these two. Oh yes, and on this glossy, I don't want it to be incredibly glossy, so the roughness will keep at 0.2 to see what it looks like in this mode, in this uh, window for the rendered. Okay. I may take that to point one two five. See what that does. All right. It's looking a little better. You know what I think I'll do is I'll actually take that world view, and I'm going to dial it back some. In fact, I'm going to give it kind of a purple background here. A little dark purple. I'm keeping the whole Halloween spirit. Okay. We'll go with that. And then...
take a look at the rendered view. Wow. All right. But now you can see some gloss to it, which that's what we're going to want for our final object. And I'm thinking that this is actually looking pretty good. But the stem, it looks a little bit plain. So instead what we'll do is we're going to add a little bit of texture to the stem. And by texture I'm not talking we're going to be like roughing it up physically or anything, but we're just going to be playing with the color of it. So let's go back to material. And let's select the stem material now. So we're going to add another diffuse shader. Go to diffuse. We're going to do mix shader as well. So just like we did last time. Let's control select that. So we cut through. And this what I'll do is I'm going to change it to kind of a yellowish color. Actually, I think I want to bump this up a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to add a texture to this by pressing Shift A texture I'm going to do so I can find this one do a noise texture here I'm going to use factor go with that and let's look at our rendered material. That world is not giving me a very reliable result here. All right. Okay, we'll zoom into that. Still trying to see what's on this uh, this stem to get an idea exactly as to how we're looking. I wonder what happens if I take this to say 10 for the scale. Now we're starting to see a little bit more detail there. Let's take it to 100. Let's see what it does there. And now we're seeing a little bit of a speckle pattern, which is what we're wanting for this stem. So I think now that's looking pretty good. Um, so I think that that should be should be good for our purposes. Although I am going to actually darken this color a little bit. take this out of render mode so that it doesn't seem quite so uh, so it doesn't get all real time on it or anything so it doesn't slow things down so much okay actually I think I'll do the same for this color I'll take it down a bit Okay, let's look at this. 
All right, in the rendered view, I think I'm pretty satisfied. And so, that is our segment for doing the materials. You can tweak these as you want, whatever looks visually appealing to you. And for now, I think that I am satisfied. So, I think this will be good. So let's, uh, let's just call that good. And then I will see you in our next episode where we actually take this pumpkin and carve a jack-o'-lantern from it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Animation for All. This has been a production from Shemble Studio. For more information, go to shemble.blogspot.com. And you can also follow us on Twitter.